Last year, online shopping scams cost people 58 million pounds in the UK. And you can only imagine what that would have been in the US with the US being so much bigger. And with Facebook Marketplace becoming even more and more popular for people to do online shopping, it's more and more likely that people are gonna get hit buy those online scams within that platform. So if you're thinking of selling on Facebook Marketplace or already are selling on Marketplace, I know I've certainly ramped up how much I use it this year, you're gonna to need to know exactly what scams buyers are using against sellers in 2019 to make sure that you didn't get hurt with those scams yourself. So this video is gonna cover three Facebook Marketplace scams that are being used in 2019 to catch out sellers. First off, there's gonna be two scams that end up in you as a seller actually giving away your product for free and getting no money in return. And finally, we're gonna finish in a scam that ends up with the seller actually paying the buyer. So hang around, give this video a like, and we're gonna jump into those three scams right now. So Facebook Marketplace is a fantastic platform if you're able to find cheap products and then sell them on that platform for a higher price or if you've just got things cluttering around your house and you want to get rid of them and sell them to the local community. But unlike eBay and other online selling websites, Facebook Marketplace doesn't actually have an inbuilt payment system. So it's completely your responsibility as the seller to handle the exchanging of goods and money. Facebook offers no seller protection like eBay does to protect you in any instances of foul play. So you need to make sure you know all the risks and all the potential ways you can be caught out to make sure you don't get caught out yourself. There's absolutely no safety net. And one way that sellers are being caught out and actually giving away their products with receiving no money back is with this first scam, and that is the gift card scam. So what happens here is a buyer approaches you through Facebook Marketplace telling you that they are really interested in your product but they offer to pay for that product with a gift card. So it may be that you're selling like a product for $50 and someone says, hi, I've not actually got $50 in cash, but I've got a $75 Amazon gift card. Can I pay with that instead? And as a seller, being offered more money than you're expecting for your product, is gonna be enticing to anyone. So I can completely see how people can accept that gift card payment in those situations. But what actually happens is, you end up giving your product to the buyer and the buyer gives you that gift card. And then later on at a later stage, you realize that that gift card is actually empty. It's already been used, there's nothing left alone on the gift card and the buyer has got away with your product and you've got nothing to show in return except for an empty gift card. So you may be thinking this is a silly scam, I'd never fall for that, but it can be super tempting when you're offered more money than you asked for. And like I said, people do fall for this scam. So the solution here, the way that you get around falling for this scam is only accept cash for the products you're selling on Facebook Marketplace. Don't accept any other form of payments. That's exactly what I did when I was selling all of my products a few months ago when I was moving house. I only accepted cash as the form of payment and I managed to sell everything I wanted to get rid of within one week using just cash as a payment method. Now back then I made a popular video all about how great Facebook Marketplace was and a step-by-step -step guide of how to list your product and how to receive the payment in cash. So if you wanna learn how to sell in the way I did on Facebook Marketplace, I definitely recommend going and watching that video to get clued up. And when you're watching that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you get alerted for any future Facebook Marketplace videos I make. But long story short, when you've come back from that video, just make sure you're only receiving payment for your goods in cash. That's the lesson we can learn here from the gift card scam. Okay, another scam that's being used in 2019 that's gonna result in the buyer getting your product for free is they're gonna rob you. So bear with me here while I explain this. The uniqueness of the Facebook Marketplace is that it basically works in a way that you are selling to people in your local area. And a lot of the time, how these sales work is you meet with the buyer in person and you exchange the goods. That's the unique approach used on Facebook Marketplace. But with that unique element to selling on Facebook comes the risk and that new risk is getting robbed in person. That never used to exist on sites like eBay where you would just mail the customer their products. So what might happen is you get approached by a buyer, they offer to give you the money for your products, but they insist you meet them in a specific place 
to give them the products. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna to go to that location thinking it's the buyer's house, but it turns out to be something completely different. So an example is it could be a dark alley away from the rest of civilization where you are exposed and you're vulnerable. Somewhere where you can get sort of trapped, you get out of that location and rather than being greeted by one person, you're greeted by two or three and the product is stolen from you and you receive no money for that product, you've been robbed. So what are the solutions to this Facebook marketer scam that is happening to people in 2019 where they're getting robbed? Well, first off, never let the buyer set the destination where you exchange the goods for payment. As the seller, you should always, you can either maybe insist that that person comes to your house to give them the products and they give you the money and make sure if you're gonna do that, you've got you know a couple of people around you at the, your house at that time. This is how I sold my products in the past. I had people come to my property and just hand it them through the door. Or you can insist that you meet in a public place. So a shopping mall, a library, something like that. Just make sure that you're not going to a unknown location that the buyer has set. Uh, another solution here is police stations around America and potentially in the UK and around the rest of the world are actually setting up exchange locations in the car parks of those police stations. So you can tell the buyer to meet you at that police station in the car park. There'll be a designated exchange area where you can give the buyer the product, they give you the payment and the exchange happens completely safely. And even if there isn't designated exchange zones made by that police department, you can still exchange your product outside the police station for an extra feeling of safety. You know, worst case scenario, if you get robbed, you can just run into the police station and tell them straight away what's happened. So scam number two, getting robbed, never let the buyer set the location, do it in a public place or a place where you are comfortable and safe. Okay, and finally, the final scam, what I introduced at the start, it's gonna result in you actually giving the buyer money rather than them giving you money. It sounds crazy, it sounds far-fetched. If holding onto your own money is something that you wanna do, well, first off, give this video a like, and second, hold up, I'm gonna tell you the scam now. Okay, so this is step-by-step step what is gonna happen with this Facebook Marketplace scam. You put your product onto the marketplace, someone approaches you, they are happy to buy the product for the listed price, but rather than meeting in person and paying by cash, they insist that they do it probably you know, by wire transfer or by some form of digital electronic transfer instead. And when the time comes for them to pay, they actually end up paying, but they contact you saying that they've accidentally paid a lot more than the asking price. Just by you know, typing the wrong number into their computer, they've paid a higher price by mistake. And you'll receive an email saying that the payment has gone through and saying that actually the higher payment has come through. You're gonna get that email from the wire transfer company or the payment company that the buyer's used. So on your end, you know, you've received documentation saying that you've received a higher payment and the buyer is gonna ask you to send them back the difference between the two payments so that the buyer has only actually spent the money that the product was listed for and they've made back the extra money they've, they've sent you by mistake. So as the seller, you're gonna send back the difference to the buyer and you're gonna meet the buyer and give them your product. And this is where the scam comes into play. After the exchange has happened, you're gonna get a message from maybe the wire transfer company or whatever company they've used to pay in the first place saying that the original buyer had actually canceled the transition and the funds have been withdrawn and they've not actually been sent into your account. So the original payment, the overpayment from the buyer has been canceled, you've got no money in your account, but you've sent that buyer money out from your own account to try and compensate them for that overpayment. You've ended up sending the buyer money and giving them a product and you are left with absolutely nothing. Worst case scenario. And the way that this works is some online payment providers have like delays before payments clear. So you receive an email saying that you've been paid, but it's not actually been cleared yet, so it's not hit your account. So on your end, it looks like you've received the money, but you actually haven't. And from my research, I've learned that these scams are a lot more popular when you're selling items like sofas or furniture, but you could be hit with the scam from any product listing on the marketplace. So the solution to this overpayment scam is gonna be the same solution that I've mentioned in the past, only ever accept cash for your products 
or a official safe payment provider such as PayPal that you are familiar with and you know have safety built into it. Only use cash or a system like PayPal to accept payment from the buyer. Anything else that you're not familiar with or may have these security flaws like the delayed payments, stay way away from. Only accept cash or use a safe provider like PayPal. I mean, I couldn't even imagine the embarrassment of being left with no product and actually spent money out of your own account as the seller. It's, it's an awful situation. And you know, Facebook Marketplace is such a great platform for making money online. It's free to use, there's no fees <clears throat> like there are for eBay. It's fantastic. So just make sure that you're using it safely and you're taking full advantage of it. Okay, so those are the three Facebook Marketplace scams in 2019 that you may be hit with as a seller. Make sure to like this video if you thought that was useful. Subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for future Facebook Marketplace videos. And I'm gonna leave you now with some overall tips, some general bullet point tips that you should follow in order to avoid any scams in general, whether it's the three I've talked about or any other scams that exist out there. So the first tip is always make sure to check the profile of the buyer on Facebook. So check their Facebook account to make sure it's a legitimate person. So you're gonna to wanna to look out for things like, was the profile only recently created? If so, it suggests that it might be a fake account set up for the purposes of scamming sellers. So was it recently created? Make sure it's an old profile. Make sure that the buyer has actually been tagged in photos on their profile. That basically suggests it's a real account. Uh, and also make sure that the buyer's friends are local to your area. Because if the friends of the buyer aren't local, it's probably likely that the buyer isn't local either and they're trying to scam you from afar. Second thing is limit the payment method that you're willing to accept. So don't take any wire transfers, don't take any gift cards. Third, always meet your buyer face to face, preferably in a public location rather than your house to ensure a safe exchange. And finally, number four, always exchange the goods and the payment at the same time. That way there's no risk that you're gonna be left with no product and then receiving no payment either. Exchange it at the same time so you can check that the payment is real, you have it in your hand, so you know that the exchange was honest, fair, and went through as planned. Okay, so that is me done. That's all the advice I can give you right now in 2019 when you're selling on Facebook Marketplace. Do you know any other scams that exist out there that I've missed in this video? Let me and everyone else watching this video know in the comments below. It's gonna really help sellers watching these videos stay safe. As always, thank you very much for watching Start Starting Up, all about sharing passive income tips so you can make money online. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this like this video, ring the notification bell, all that stuff so you can basically see everything that comes out from me in the future. Uh, and finally, if you're leaving YouTube now, make sure to check me out on Instagram at start starting up so you can follow me there more frequently than I post on YouTube. I post weekly on YouTube at the moment. You'll get more frequent tips and updates on Instagram by following me at start starting up. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, see you soon. Bye.